Hi guys, uh, this is Alan Chang and um, I wanted to show you how to actually make a print and play or the way that we make it. Um, there's actually two different ways to make it and I've got two different versions of the print and play uh, that will be available on the Kickstarters um, uh, for the Kickstarter backers. So over here I have uh, two versions. We have the the front and back in different pages, uh, this style. And then we have the folded version, which is something that I think is a little easier to do. So, like that. So the paper that you, uh, I'm using for this one is 200 GSM uh, bonded paper or matte paper. Um, the bonded matte paper has sort of got a more pure white to it. Um, some of the glossier ones or the silk papers have a, a slight yellow tinge to them, so I prefer the, the really bright white ones. Um, the 200 GSM is actually slightly too thick, in my uh, personally. But if you're going to be playing the cards without any sleeves, uh, the 200 GSM is perfectly fine. If you do want to sleeve them, you can go all the way down to about 140 GSM, 150 GSM, because when you bond them, you're actually not quite doubling, but you will get um, a fair amount of thickness out of that. So um, anywhere between 140 GSM to 200 GSM is perfectly acceptable. So I'll quickly just show you how to actually make the folded version first. So what I've got here is just a, uh, a thin piece of aluminium that I went to our local hardware store to, to get. And um, you can get them anywhere. You could also just use any household ruler. Um, do try and look for something that's got a little bit of thickness and heft to it. Um, because the way that I do it is I use these kind of roller cutters and these are sort of purchased from our local fabric store um, and we think that these are really nice to use. So in the combination of these and this and just a Stanley knife of some kind just for scoring. We don't actually use this to actually cut the paper. Okay, so over here um, we have a uh, dotted fold line. This is essentially where we're going to score the paper. And once you score it, you're going to fold it in half. And we use sort of contact spray of any kind, really, to actually do the, uh, the adhesion to the paper. So first things first, let's score the paper. Simply line up the page. Use your knife to do some simple scoring. That essentially allows you to have a really neat and nice uh, uh, line for folding purposes. Now, just quickly, I will grab just any old sort of throwaway uh, corru corrugated cardboard. Move this on top. Grab a contact adhesive, shake it, and just spray. Now, normally uh, with these ones, uh, they ask you to uh, to wait for the um, the adhesion to be a little bit more tacky before you actually bond it. But because this is, we're just really doing paper, and this it's really sort of low impact stuff. You can sort of just go ahead and do it straight away. So we fold. And essentially apply pressure from the inside outwards to avoid any potential bubbling. And uh, when you do this, not in haste, you should try and do it away from the uh, sticky places. But anyway, that's essentially done. Uh, typically, I will actually apply this onto something heavier and I will actually score every single piece uh, first and bond them before I actually start doing the cutting. But uh, for this demonstration purposes, I'm going to go straight ahead and just cut this out to show you how this works.
Um, so once you sort of score the paper, one quick swift uh, stroke essentially will do. And we'll do the rest. Oops. I'm not doing a very accurate job, given that this is really just a quick demonstration. So essentially that's done. That was really quick and easy. It's a folded version. And um, optionally, if you wanted to, you can also get yourself a corner cutter, something like this. And a quarter cutter allows sort of nice little rounded corners for your cards. Again, doing a pretty terrible job, but here it is. Next up we have the uh, double sided bond versions. I'm not actually going to go through this and bond it. I'll essentially just explain how I do it. You see here you have these um, uh, placement markers for alignment. So all you really want to do is, what I do, is um, a shine a light down below if you have one of those um, uh, capabilities like a light box of some kind and then you can line up that way or alternatively you can essentially just use a scoring to score it and try and line up the dots that way um, and once you do then essentially you have to pin it um, it's a little bit more involved uh, doing it the the two page way but uh, when we do it with um, a larger sheet, typically we, we, we use um, A3s or A2s, um, print all of them on the same sheet, and then bond it using this front and back method. Um, I endorse essentially using the folder method, like I mentioned, it's a very quick and easy way to do it. Um, the alternative with the, the front and back prints is that you can essentially just print uh, one sheet all on the front, and then flip the pages on the printer, and then print the back sheet. Uh, that way as well. So th that's an alternative. We find that typically doing it that way is a little bit difficult to line up because the, the feed on the printer sometimes um, wouldn't be very accurate. So that's the two ways and uh, I hope you enjoy making your own print and play version. Thanks.